Today in Ryzen News, we have Windows 7 update, um, updates? And Biostar is gonna beat everyone else to the punch with the first AM4 ITX motherboards. Let's check it out. So in the past week, Microsoft has actually started to block Ryzen-based and KB Lake-based computers from getting updates for Windows 7. Luckily, there seems to be a user-generated patch or fix, at least for now, for the problem. This article from PC World details exactly what's going on here with the Windows updates for Windows 7 and on Windows 8 for Kaby Lake and Ryzen based processors. Essentially what's going on is Microsoft is using a couple different flags. One is called is CPU supported void and is device serviceable void. Zephy, a GitHub user, has created a patch that modifies those values, allowing you to get the security updates that you may rely on if you're still running Windows 7 or Windows 8 on a processor that you're not supposed to be encouraged to be running it on. That was a lot. Now the news isn't completely all about rainbows and happiness here. Keep in mind with any updates to Windows that Microsoft is not designing these updates for Ryzen or KB Lake. So there is always a chance some of these updates will not play nice with these newer architectures. That being said, if you are a resilient user of Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you don't want to upgrade to Windows 10, this patch may be for you. See the description down below for the link to the PC World article, which also does link up to that patch from Zephy on GitHub. This next piece of news sort of features multiple links and they will all be in the description down below as I go along, but essentially the AM4 ITX motherboards are finally here. The winner of the race to the AM4 ITX motherboard seems to be Biostar, which has announced a pair of Ryzen-based motherboards that'll get your uh, Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7 processors into an extremely small, compact computer, which may be perfect for the living room. In addition, the prices of these motherboards are extremely friendly to consumers, coming in at a price point of $109 for the B350 version, and the X370 version comes in at just $129. And now is where it gets really curious. According to the spec sheet of both motherboards, at least the spec sheets that I found, every single thing is identical. So unless X370 is really offering something you are guaranteed to use that is actually available on this ITX motherboard, then probably just go ahead and get the B350 version and save your $20. So here's where I want your guys' input. Are you even interested in running Windows 7 or Windows 8 on KB Lake or Ryzen-based systems? Also, how interested are you guys in Ryzen-based ITX systems, possibly for the living room or some other area where ultra-compact uh, PCs are actually important to you? Let me know in the comments down below. As per usual, guys, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment all down below. They help me out a lot. You can also follow me on social media, at Hoosier Hardware, on both Instagram and on Twitter. And also, as per usual, I will queue up a couple YouTube videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.